So a young man from Ladoke, Akintola University, um, was making a scene mm. at the reception of his school, trying to return his certificate. Please ask me why. He said he didn't get a job. That obviously the certificate is useless. Mm -hmm. That he's been suffering for yeah. quite a number of time. Now, this was hilarious to many. But we decided to dig further. Mm. Because lots of people will say they can relate. Mm. You spend four years, seven years, some eight years in uni university. You finally get this, in Nigerian terms, Bali. You can't, do, you can't use it for anything. Mm. So this is where frustration is pushing Nigerian students to. Too. But do you think that justifies going to the reception and making a scene? And what are your thoughts about that? What are your reactions to what that man did? So on the one hand, there's the cloud thing, which is very common uh, ah, these days. So it cloud. might be a way for him to, you know, let people know he needs help, which he, he eventually said. He said he's looking for a job, he needs help. So it could be a way like, okay, I've done everything. Now, maybe if I create a scene, I will trend online, my helper will find me. Ah. That's on the one hand. On the other hand, however, so many Nigerians youth wish to do that. Mm. You want to go back to your university and say, you know what? All the investments my friends have made on give me, me please give me back. I have a business idea. Yeah. I, I cannot get a loan for it. Yeah. But that's looking at it on the lighter note. Um, on a more serious note, though, it's very unfortunate. Really unfortunate. And uh, I always tell young people, when you go to the university, learn for the benefit of having that knowledge. But know that it's important to have something that will pay your bills. Because you might even have a regular job. The reality is, many people don't tell you. They have full-time jobs aren't the only things paying their bills. You need to also work on skills. You need to be able to support yourself. Yeah. All over the world, it's in Nigeria that we don't get this. You see people do nine to five for three, four days a week. What it means is you have three more days to do other jobs. Yeah. So you have people having two, three jobs. We can't do that in Nigeria when the jobs haven't even gone round. <laughs> <laughs> but you just need to know that you need to also learn a skill. Yeah. I'm looking at somebody that's probably tried all, you know, he could, and yeah. it just isn't working. It's an unfortunate situation we have in this country, really mm. unfortunate. I, have, I felt really sad for you him. Know, what are your thoughts when you, when you watch this video? Okay, so I, I thought... Aside that he might just not be mentally stable, mm. because you know there's so, so much. Most people can't deal with the stress. Mm -hmm. Just might not be, you know, able to push further, mm. and they might be crying out. It might be a cry for help. You've been talking a lot of mental this bit lately. Mm -hmm. I'm just discussing. trying to balance things, but then from on the other side, it just might be that he is not responsible. Mm. You know, so you get a degree. Unfortunately, we had the mental or whatever bra brainwashing mm -hmm. that white collar means yeah, that you go to forward. school and you come out to get a job. Yeah. I know I'm dealing with some young people now who are just incapable of trying out their hands on business, even those who, whose parents are constantly in business. Mm -hmm. So if your mother is trading and your father is trading, you grew up in business. Mm -hmm. I just cannot understand. I started business early at 17. I've been grinding pepper all my life, selling, selling pepper and palm oil. How can I not be able to do a business? So I started a business. I winged it, winged it one way or the other. I had to go back to do my degree. My parents said, no, don't combine the two. I dropped it. At 300 level, I picked it up. Anybody that has anything to sell, I would market it, I would sell it. Yeah. So that's what I grew up in. And so you, you are supposed to be able to find the solution. That's what a university degree is supposed to give you, mm. not to give you the job. So you, you come out, no matter the level of the degree, the first class orders are not the people who made it. It's the people who are able to think with the degree in their hand, that are the billionaires. That's the honest truth. Mm -hmm. In our own Nigeria, our reality is that the first class holders are not the people in the billions. Mm -hmm. It's the person who is able to hold the certificate and think. Mm -hmm. That's the, the innovators. Is the, yeah. the ability to, to, to think beyond thinking, to reason. That's what a degree is supposed to give you. Mm -hmm. So it, maybe you should, maybe the university themselves should collect the degree back if you're unable mm -hmm. to wear that capacity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what it's supposed to give you. That's so maybe BO. Aside that, not to be, in order not to be too harsh on him, I'm thinking maybe it's just... Well, it's interesting, but well, well, I think it's probably more what Barry said, cloud chasing, because I think mm. this strategy now, where you're just going to make noise and just, mm -hmm. you know, do something that is really silly Twitter, to grab... Because you know. the guy that was recording, obviously, seemed to be quite stationary. You know, for yeah. somebody that was just wondering, 
you know, you feel like the got camera is a bit. So he got it. So did it was, you, was planned. It I didn't like even see the video. I read it. So yeah. So, so did you see? Did you see that? You know, he he wrote the, in the story. It was reported that he's married with family. Yes, with two children. You can think and of that one. Yes. And you cannot think that my kids must not go hungry. Mm. That's why now you know people do desperate things. You sometimes you're going out. You see someone holding a placard. My name yeah. is. I studied this. I need a job. No, so, that's so, even more decent cloud chasing. When you call out your university institution, you're saying I'm a bad product of school. Ouch. I know that my well, I finished from last school. There's a part of your certificate or your, during your convocation where last school says we, we take back the degree yeah. if you do not conform to certain parts of society. I was called to bar. You're supposed to be fit and proper. So as I am going, I'm a representation of where I was trained and mm. I will do better. Mm. So rather than come out and stand in front of my school and cause cloud chase is such so a way. think like that should just yes, that collect their degree. That uh, themselves should uh, collect it What back. if he dropped it and he wants to go back for it? You are starting something. No, they won't take it back. Yes, the, the senator of the school can call, recall mm. the degree given. I know mm. they do it well in mm -hmm. Lasso. Oh, I, I, I didn't know, know about that. I didn't know that. You don't want to. I also uh, attended last week. They will recall it. Last week is a very strict school. Strict school. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> sit up, sit proper. <laughs> do <think>. better <laughs> after your meet. <laughs> okay, I think that's don't all we can do. We wanted to um, just say something lighter because we had a lot right. of interviews today. Mm -hmm. But I think in a nutshell, um, we must take responsibility for ourselves. You know, mm -hmm. everybody, we're all in this together. Somebody was saying, ah, it's not easy. It's not, some, some people are not suffering as much as others. Mm -hmm. We're all in this mm -hmm. country. Mm -hmm. No matter how nice mm -hmm. and glossy it might look on somebody's side, mm -hmm. trust me, mm -hmm. it's not that we're all in this country. Mm -hmm. So we are all mm -hmm. signed to, we are, we are all yimo back on. You know, we are all finding a way. That's my point. That you yeah. survive yeah. us. So, we are all doing it legitimately, <laughs> constantly, yes. rethinking and re so it's never, how to it's do never it. easy anywhere, but no, we should be responsible in what we're doing because whatever we do, there's a ripple effect on others. So what he just did right now has a ripple effect on his institution, mm -hmm. his family, his children, his reputation as a person. Because now you've told the whole world that you you've made a nuisance of of mm -hmm. this whole situation. So and that was not necessary. But I think um, we can wrap up with that today. Thanks to all our guests that came today. I was really impressed with Professor Professor Osho. She was so impressive. Yes. I'd love to yes. you know have yes. her another time where we can mm -hmm. talk about yes. you know other areas. She was quite articulate. It was good mm -hmm. to have her. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Mano also was here earlier. I regards to him because he was talking about his, um, his event coming up, the summit coming up September 30th. We'd like to encourage you to also participate in that. That's all we can take. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.